Alright, so we're back here. Computer Apps 2, Unit L. Creating a pivot table report. Alright, this is on page 276. So, let's, uh, let's get started here. First thing we need to do is open up your Unit L, um, L1 spreadsheet found in Blackboard under Lessons. So hopefully we'll, we will went ahead and did that. Alright, so this is what it should look like. First thing we need to do here is click the Insert tab and right here you're going to find pivot table. Go ahead and click this. Okay, we're going to select a range from A2 all the way down, I believe it's E74. Yeah, E74. All right. So, here's uh, that information. We want to make sure that we click New Worksheet. All right, otherwise it's going to show up right here and just be a little messy. So, we'll go ahead and hit New Worksheet, and there it is. Okay, we're going to go ahead and select product ID. Okay, sum of ID. All right. Click the sum of the product ID list arrow in the values area. So that would be down here. We'll click that and say move to columns to column labels. All right. Now, hang with me here. I know this makes no sense right now, but we'll get there. All right, we're going to go ahead and then click the branch field, which is here. All right, so now we can see our branches. All right, Chicago, Miami, New York. And from here, we're going to take our quarter field, and we're going to drag this down below branch here. And now we're going to see our quarters, so one, two, three, and four. From here, go ahead and click the sales checkbox and now you can see our sales uh, for each branch in each quarter all right all right and that uh, takes care of page 276 so go ahead and you can save that And you can move on to 278. Talk to you soon. Bye.